guys. Bull market, yes. Sell all the shares of the stock prices. Wait, Patsy, what's this? Persian cuisine? Pull in here, pull in here! Persian cuisine. This could be delectable, Patsy. No, no, Patsy, you're supposed to do the rotating, rotating thing, not the side to side. Oh, how many times? Oh, who's I making all that noise? I wonder if they have my favorite dish. <laughs> Second, you must be the Persian chef, sir. I've heard a lot about you around the oil refinery. Oh wow! What a pleasure to meet you, sir. Oh yes, it seems like you have quite the establishment around here, my good man. As you may know, I am a rich oil and industrial and steel and railroad and Facebook tycoon. I've been around the world, and I need your most expensive, entertaining, explosive, extravagant, expensive Persian meal. Um, how about pomegranate stew? Pomegranate stew, eh? That sounds amazing! However, my good man, I must warn you, during my meal I require a lot of... Entertainment! Yeah, we have all the entertainment! All of it! Excellent, my good man, take me uh, to maybe show finest... you... Yes, the finest... Finest table. ...seating area we have stuff. in Come the Patsy. entire region. Come, Patsy! Right this way, Sir Longbottoms. Right oh, this thank way. You. <laughs> thank you. All right, Mr. Persian Chef. I can't wait for that pomegranate stew, but I especially can't wait for the entertainment. I promise that both the entertainment and the pomegranate stew will just be top-notch amazing. Right. Oh my God, Mr. Robert Bottoms. He's a legend. I can't believe he's here. I've heard he's really tough to please, though. So I better get started. Okay, so pomegranate stew is pretty easy to make, but um, it could get a little expensive for some of the ingredients. We got ground beef, we got some uh, walnuts, onion, and pomegranate paste or concentrate, which uh, could be a little difficult to find actually. The leaner the beef, the more it'll stick together. Now I'm um, just add some spices. I'm gonna add some salt, a little bit, a little bit of pepper, and a, li a little bit of turmeric. And that should do it. Also, for taste, grate a small onion in there. Now, mix all the ingredients. I've found that hand works best. Weird, but oddly satisfying. So now that it's mixed well, you just take a little pinch and you make meatballs and you repeat until it's done. Now that we have the meatballs, we're just going to add some oil to the pan and we're going to start the browning process. Add them to the oil. You just want them to be brown on the outside uh, because they will continue cooking in the stew. You just don't want them to fall apart. The meat is done and uh, we're just going to set it aside right now. Entertainment, please! Sir Cloverbottoms! Coming! Coming! Feats of strength! Bare explosive power! Now uh, we grind our walnuts. Uh, about a cup per person should be fine, I think. OK, 
Okay, that looks good to me. Um, I like it fairly crushed. Now just take it out and put it in a bowl. So we set the walnuts uh, next to our other ingredient. Entertainment. Almost. Ready? Person chef? Mr. Cobble Blossom! Entertainment ready, Mr. Chef? No, no, Patsy, no, not that entertainment. No, Patsy, no. Okay, so now fill a pot halfway with water. Put it on the stove and have it boil. Now that the water is boiled, we add all the ingredients in. So we add the meat that we made earlier. Add the walnuts that we crushed earlier. And we add a, an entire bottle of pomegranate paste. Now depending on what type you get, there are sour kinds, sweet kinds the taste of your stew could be completely different. So before you make it, make sure you actually like the taste of the paste. The last thing you do is just mix everything, uh, stir everything, and you just let it sit there for three or four hours until a small layer of oil forms on top, which is just walnut oil, it's natural. Turn it down on low and put the top on. How is that entertainment coming, Mr. Persian Chef? Mr. Couple Buttons! It's time for Fine Arts! To be or not! To be! That is the question we need to answer! Eggplant Theater! Sir? We need to tell you something. Son, you're adopted! Okay, now check on your stew. So this is what pomegranate stew should look like. It has a very dark brown color and you can just serve it over rice. That's what we're doing. And I'm just going to take it out. I'm so hungry. Every second I'm not eating pomegranate stew, I'm losing business in the oil oh, tycoon. I'm here. Oh, uh, finally. Hey, I'm here. Give me this stew. Here you go. For your sake, person chef, this better be the best bowl of po Best bowl of pomegranate stew I've ever had in my life. My god, that was the best, the best pomegranate stew I've ever had in my life. I couldn't believe the flavors and the texture and the pomegranates. Oh, oh my god. I would give all 80 million of my oil refineries to ever have that recipe in my life, good sir. Thank you. Well, can I say Mr. Cobbleberries? Oh, um, the fifth, yes. <laughs> the, the fifth, um, the, well, I, I do have your receipt, though. Oh, of course, the bill. Yes, the bill. Patsy, Patsy, come here, come here. Start the car. I'll be right back. Hurry, Patsy!